been a really long winter and finally the snow's gone. It's still colder than hell. Gonna be getting ready for seeding. But over winter, I'd been working on the Ag Open GPS Ace branch. Worked on a bunch of custom hardware that was uh, power over ethernet and it makes it really easy to uh, put in. As well as if you had a V2 board on UDP already, you can uh, flash it with a special um, uh, like new firmware and then it can just, you can use it again. I'll walk you through it. Hopefully uh, all the tests this summer are just like this one. And it's so far pretty good. I am, I am astonished. Okay, so with the PoE system, we've got our tablet like everybody's got. Up there is a PoE switch. On top of it is a small 12 volt to 48 volt converter to power the switch. So you're getting data and power with these lines. I didn't put them in uh, too nicely because I thought I'd have to maybe rip them out, but now I know I can put this in permanent because it works good. So there's the switch, everything's got a home run. If we look down here below the seat, there's my old V2 and now it's a steer board and it still picks up the uh, on off switch for the uh, auto steer. And then underneath the seat, it's uh, not super lovely, but that's the nav. And I just have my prototype board wrapped in some um, non-conductive foam just because I wanted to test it right away. And I've got this cord to extra bit long because I want to move the nav up onto the frame later and I didn't want to make a cable twice. So you got the nav plugged in, powered by power over ethernet. The um, steer module, the old V2 board, it's still powered with its own uh, 12 volt source, but uh, you can't really get away from that because it's got to be able to power that great big motor. And then for GPS, I've got this lovely thing. And again, I didn't get time to put any fancy 3D printed box around it, but I've got a power over ethernet GPS. So the antenna cable on this is ridiculously short. And then all of the data just comes back on the ethernet cable. And you might say, well, what's the point in that? Well, you can't really guess what size of coax you need, but man, ethernet cable is super easy to run. It's the same cable, like everything uses the exact same cable. So if you come with ethernet cable, you know you're gonna get the whole job done. You can repair it in the field. You can put these little ends on with no problem. This just works. So. Everything is set to the 192.168.5 network. Uh, we'll just power it up here with the engine off so you can, can hear what's going on. Okay. We'll power on the laptop and it is cold. Sorry if I'm shaking. Troubleshooting on PoE is really easy because if you have blinking lights, you have something alive at the end of the switch. So you know you're at least getting power and data moving to the different modules. And then every module also has a blinking light. So you know exactly where everything's going. So how easy is it to start this up? So we're just gonna click this and we'll wait a second here. Oh, everything's talking. And it'll do that every time. There's no messing around. I still don't see why people think USB is so special because this will happen every single time for the rest of this laptop's life. Unless one of these absolutely explode, that is, that's what happens. Like it's already talking. I have not even opened up Ag Open and I already know everything works. We'll click on this and it'll open up. Again, colder than hell. At any rate, RTK fix, and uh, we're good to go. We're gonna go on a little bit of a drive. Took this for a short drive here before making this video. It's astonishingly smooth. I've been using Ag Open for a couple of years now, and this is literally the best ride I have had ever. I am, it's amazing what happens when you just get the data where it needs to be, right when it needs to be there.